It is a heavyweight championship fight between Lyoto, the Dragon Machida, and Fabrizio Verdun. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan. He's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Verdun is one year the elder. He is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Holding a professional record of 60 wins, 17 losses, and one draw. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. This is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. All right, so here is the UFC champion trying to make good on the tonight and as the contenders have risen up to this champion's level most have not been able to deal with his power 
I wonder if he sent a coffee cake to the guy he just knocked out. He is going to try to take this guy out early and often, as he has done to so many challenges in the past. Nice combination there. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. That one hurt. Machida gets caught with that punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Machida gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Ooh! And he is dealing with a cut, it looks like, above that right eyebrow. Oh! Oh, and he eats a shot. He's got a big left hook. Trying to pass here. Verdun gets up clearly. He wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he gets up. Tries to pass here but gets shut down. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Machida gets up, and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. That's a vicious kick to the body for Verdun. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Inside leg kick, that'll count. Whoa! a big punch that results in a knockdown. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Second round underway. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Verdun's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite. Whoa! He hurt him! Verdun gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Machida gets the tie clinch here. This is a very good spot for him, Joe. First takedown attempt is there. And he's trying to pass. Gets the reversal and now in half guard. Beautiful punch. Good control here. He gets the full mount. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Working towards the mount, trying to mount him. position here. Under two minutes to go. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground.
He's attacking with a submission. Here he goes. Let's see if he can finish it. He wants to move his opponent's left arm out of the way. That's the arm that's defending. Once he gets that out of the way, then he can work the choke. And he gets out. Wow, that was a deep choke. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Half guard here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Tries to pass, but cannot. Beautifully executed sweep. On top, look at that pass. in the books. And there is the horn. Big five minutes for him there. Great round from Machi. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round. Acabou com a raça dele. As quedas foram lindas e ele tá chumbadaço. Agora você vai se preparar para tirar ele daqui. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Verdun. Wow! He's badly, badly hurt. Oh, he might be out. Body kick, look at that. Nice takedown. Man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening, and everything has worked off of that patented jab. He has had that in his opponent's mug. Oh, oh he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. He's out. It's all that will do it. Perfectly placed strike to end the fight. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. And here we see the spectacular knockout that retained his world title. Uncorks this bomb. It lands on the button. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. Let's see that again. And he's out. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 10 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and still. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight. Uh. 
As I walk through the valley with my ladder and flex On the realest willis in it, I just happened to rap When they all thought we was finished, they was laughing at that So I went and bought me a dawn and flipped the ad to the back to the back. New drag, new whips on the way now That's your bitch on the way now Mama told me if you fall, never stay down Stand up, stand up, I can never lay down Wins and them losses, he come with being bosses Shoot him, shoot him in his head if he crosses Take that shit to trial, hit the fat, making offers Five hundred thousand, Louis said we looking awesome Swat that paddy, put them cut